Hey guys, it's your girl Innovated Angel back at it with another freaking video. And in today's video, this is gonna be like a rant style video, but this is how you are going to get over their ass, okay? And this is what worked for me. Now, I don't know, everybody heals differently. Everybody has to go through different things in order to become who they are supposed to be. But if you are tired of their ass and you are fed up and you are actually leaving. Now, I can do a video on um, how to actually leave somebody because I am really good at leaving people the fuck alone. <laughs> I love to retract my energy from people and I feel like I'm such a genuine person. And any type of connection that you really have with someone, if it's a genuine connection and that connection goes dry, people are going to feel it. People are going to feel the energy shift and shit. So, yeah. But this video is not about leaving people. This video is about how to get over that, how to get over them. Now, I am somebody that likes to, or I'm not going to say I like to, but I'm somebody that can replay a lot of memories in my head. Um, to a certain extent, you know, obviously as time goes on, certain memories are core memories, whereas other memories, you know, get shelved away, if you, if you get what I mean. But in certain scenarios, I can tend to replay certain memories that I have with significant people in my life. But anyways, I tend to relive, relive those situations if I am not fully healed from the situation. So if I'm still upset from something that happened back in 2021, then I would still be thinking about it and that person would still have their power over me technically because I'm still getting upset over it and I'm allowing them and their past actions to affect my current state. You know what I'm saying? So you in order for you to move on from that person you have to either forgive them of the situation forgive them of that time forgive yourself for the part that you played forgive everything and you have to also accept the situation you have to accept it for what it is you cannot change the past that's like one thing that i want everybody to know it's no point in still getting upset about the past especially if you and somebody in your life have worked out that issue both plan to move forward of course there might be still trauma there but you still allowing that situation to hurt if it's currently still not happening. So there, okay, so let me, let me clarify some things, right? If in this case, you not allowing something to still hold its power over you is dependent on if you left that person or not. Because if you are in a toxic relationship and you're still with that person after they hurt you and stuff, then that's up to you and that's up to how much you are willing to put up with. I can't tell anybody, you know, anything about whether or not they are ready to leave a situation or not. I feel like that's all dependent on self. But again, if you already left their ass, okay? So, yeah, that's very important, moving on from the situation. And it's so, so, so hard because for certain significant situations in my life, I had held such resentment towards the people, towards the situation, towards the outcome. But as I've grown as a person, I've realized that, okay, you know, I had to go through these certain things in order to become this person, in order to see myself here. Everything is happening for the betterment of me. And maybe me being there, maybe me being in that space wasn't good for me. And I just had to take it right there. And you know what I'm saying? Who knows? If I would be in this same place, if I still continued doing what I was doing there or made a different decision. You know what I'm saying? Everything happens exactly when it's supposed to happen, period. 
yeah forgiveness is one thing i also feel like if you have like a lot of things that you want to say to this person no contact is usually the best thing for me of course you know you would want to have closure or maybe you want to sit there and talk about it but like why beat a dead horse? You know what I'm saying? What else is there to talk about? You and you and I, you and them, y'all know what happened. Y'all both know what the fuck happened. And maybe you can only see it from your point of view and they can only see it from their point of view. And in their point of view, you're wrong. And in your point of view, they're wrong. What the fuck ever? Whatever. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn, what was I saying? <sighs> yeah guys but um, guys my dog ruined my favorite pen on my brand new blanket <laughs> okay sorry i got distracted anyways yeah so like i was saying no contact guys no matter what no matter what do not contact their ass because once you contact their ass they feel like they still got their power over you that's no we're taking our power back all 2023 y'all do not hit them up especially and you know what it's so easy to hit somebody up when you are under the influence of alcohol or when you are feeling lonely or maybe you are going through something like say something is happening in your family or something it is so easy to fall back in what is comfortable but it's sometimes in order for you to grow you have to be uncomfortable I'm just saying because when you are stagnant and you're comfortable you're not growing obviously and maybe some people don't want to grow but a lot of people do want to grow and a lot of people want to grow from situations so allow yourself the respect if that person did not fucking respect you respect yourself enough to not hit their ass up and honestly even if okay even if you do fall into you know and you do hit their ass up you see those red flags and you don't fall for it again do not fall for it again you got one time one time that's when you get your last little statements out your closure out you close that chapter and you move on because it obviously did not work out for a reason and this is what i want to emphasize if something that you're putting your energy into is continuously failing every single time okay i'm with this person i want to do this okay didn't work okay let's fight we make up okay we're doing better fight break up make up you know what i'm saying and it continues and it continues and it continues and it's just a toxic pattern you have to cut that shit it's not working for a reason and you are meant for something better you just have to believe it but yeah okay so another thing so this has gone into you're getting over them so you're not contacting them and you are also moving on from the situation now this is all this next tip is up to your own discernment i chose okay so there's two different routes you can go right and i have done both routes well there's a few different routes you can go but two main different routes right you can or okay let's say three right three different routes right the first route you can be a hoe <laughs> you can be a hoe and sleep around and then the last one that i tell you guys is what i am personally doing and what currently i do recommend but the first one is you can get in you know just have fun meet people do your thing but make sure you you were smart and don't go and make soul ties and connections with people that are bad people, that have red flags. You just got out of something toxic. Don't find yourself back in something else toxic. You know what I'm saying? Also, protect yourself. And that goes in every sense. Protect yourself. 
connect the dots, babe. The second thing that you can do is get a rebound. I would not recommend getting a rebound right away because you have relationship relationship stuff to work through. You have personal stuff to work through. Sometimes I feel like when you're in a relationship with someone, you can like basically be giving so much of yourself to that person, especially in a toxic relationship. You can be giving so much of your energy, your time, your essence, and you can feel like the life being sucked out of you, sucked out of you. But if you go into a relationship with somebody right after you have done no self growth, no self health, basically, and you're just putting, you're, you're basically putting the trauma of that relationship onto the other person and nine times out of ten the rebound relationships never work they never work if you see somebody and you want to talk to them and they just got out of a relationship trust me run the other way i would suggest i would suggest that person being out of relationship at least six months at least and being single for at least six months. And the last thing that I would suggest, and this is what I'm currently doing, guys, is being celibate, y'all. Being celibate and for being, I mean, I've been celibate for mad long. That's why my my walls, like, my walls is up to the fucking roof. I my standards is so high. I don't give nobody the time of day. I'm on my savage stuff and I will protect my essence and my energy because I just feel like nobody it really deserves it, especially especially not in my area. But anyways, anyways, anyways. Once you are celibate and you start to build your self-worth up and you start to protect your essence, protect your energy, you start to get like, I don't know, like I just felt like elevated from a year ago, like not even a year ago, maybe longer than a year ago, like a year and some change ago when I was in a relationship and I was like, consistently being sexually active I just felt like and I was also in a toxic relationship keep that in mind and there was other circumstances but mostly I feel like the toxic relationship was really just draining me and ever since I completely cut that off and have been focusing on myself guys I literally feel like I've elevated so much and I've grown so much and honestly celibacy is such a hard thing to do and such a hard journey and I know so many girls and I don't really know that many guys that have are so but actually I was talking to one guy and he said that he was like celibate for the same amount of time so it was like really a vibe but I don't know if he was lying or not but uh, what was I saying Oh yeah, but the people that I have talked to that have like broke their celibacy just because they were just tired of it and not because they followed the standards that they had and not because they they just basically got tired of being celibate because I mean, obviously, you know, sex is a part of life and people enjoy it. And when you don't in, engage in it, it's natural. When you don't engage in it, it has different effects on different people. You know, some people become bitter, B-I-T-C-H's. But other people, you know, they just focus on themselves. And I have found so much peace in not being like, not having a text back all the time. And, you know, somebody being down my back because I didn't text them back. Or not you know, having to be on the phone all the time because, you know, sometimes I just don't want to talk on the phone. But I mean, of course, there are some aspects of like being in a relationship and stuff that I will miss. But there is so much 
freedom and being single and i feel like people don't really appreciate it and then when you get in a relationship and you feel trapped and stuff and you want to be single again like it's just different because you know you have different values at that time but when you're single and you're celebrate and i'm also like holeless <laughs> and it's because i'd rather be holeless than mess with any guy in this city i'm telling you the men in my city are so trash i mean they're not trash they're just they're not doing it for me <laughs> at all and nobody's like i don't even feel like i have the highest highest standards but i just feel like where is the fine men at <laughs> And where is the man that's applying the pressure? Because I feel like, okay, I have found some fine men in my area, but it just don't, it don't be hitting on nothing. Like, it really don't. That is the third way of completely moving on from their ass. Now, You've been working on yourself. You've been putting your energy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. So you've been celibate, right? You've been, you forgave them and you haven't been talking to them. The next step, y'all, is to focus on yourself and work and focus on what you want to focus on because now you got all the time in the world. Unless you like are scrolling on social media endlessly you're really busy and you don't got time, this is a perfect time to be focusing on yourself. You need to learn how to be comfortable with yourself, with your energy, without being around friends all the time, without being around your family all the time. You have to learn and master yourself. Learn yourself, learn what you like, learn what your boundaries are, learn what you're going to put up with, learn what passions you have outside of work. Go to work all the time, get that bag, stack your bread, invest in what you want to invest, do what you wanted to do. Your ex told you you couldn't X, Y, and Z, do it and shit on them that's what you need to do you need to be focusing on yourself you go <laughs> this is some advice to me you've been saying you want to get that nice ass b-o-d-y get your ass in the gym and work okay put in that freaking work okay get that bag okay and focus on yourself like that's the main thing once you once you realize how great you are and you learn to love yourself and you respect yourself and you um and you make sure the people around you start doing that things are going to change for you literally literally once you have these boundaries for yourself and that's one thing one thing that I will tell you has changed my life. If I kept telling myself that I was going to do something, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because I don't want to lie to myself. And I don't want to say, oh, I'm going to do something and I'm not going to do it. Because I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know. I don't know. That's just something I mean. That's how I accomplish my goals. Seriously. I, if I see myself doing something and I envision myself doing it, I'm like, okay, I have to do it because I told myself I'm going to do it. And I don't want to let myself down. Okay? I do not want to let myself down because at the end of the day, all I got is me. I mean, yeah, I got my family and stuff. But at the end of the day, when it's my time to, you know, kick the can. Who else is going to be in that casket with me? It's just going to be me, the body. I don't think it's going to be the soul. I'm, the soul is not going to be in the casket, y'all. But the body. But anyways, what are we talking about? <laughs> what are we talking about? So back to what I'm saying. Leaving them. <laughs> Leaving their ass. Okay. So you're focusing on yourself. And guys, now... 
You may be different than me. You may believe different things when it comes to this than I do. But <laughs> my block list is long. My block list is long. And that's why and that's why people be calling me no caller ID. Because I be blocking. I be blocking. No, you're not about to have access to me no more. No, you're not about to. No, you're not about to see what I'm doing no more. No, you're not going to be able to hit me up no more. No, once we're done, we're done. I'm done. There's no, there's no. And that, key point, guys, key point. Keep this in mind. No doubling back ever. None of my old men could ever double back on me. You cannot spin the block on me. No. If I dubbed you in the past, it's just not. It didn't work out at that time for a reason. Now, not saying that everybody that I dubbed in the past, like, it would never work. But if we actually, like, had some sort of a relationship in the past, like, for real, for real, or we had a situationship, or we were talking, or we were effing with each other, or we were anything of the nature that falls under that category. Yeah, baby. We can be friends, but we not. We could say what's up to each other. We could kiki kaka, but we not. No doubling back. Sorry. You had your chance, you fumbled. Sorry. And that and I think that mentality, honestly, guys, has to do with me being like a military brat and meeting so many people and forming so many connections. Like, so I always be thinking, oh, I could just move to a city and start a new life and meet new people. And I probably run into somebody from my past. But. Yeah, no doubling back. There's eight billion people in this world. So they say. Anyways, anyways, anyways. And then, I would just say have fun, guys. That's one of the main things. Have fun. You're single. Do you, baby. You want to start making sure you're getting money from these men because your ex was broke? No shade, no shade, no shade. <laughs> that money, baby. You want to go start an OnlyFans because your ex said no and he made you feel bad and he made you feel insecure? Baby, start posting those pictures, baby. You want to go and dye your hair and cut it off and bleach your eyebrows and get your... Okay, it's going to keep going too far. But do it, like... Don't let these people control you. I feel like in a relationship, the um, sometimes people want to control the other person. You can't control nobody. You can only control yourself. And don't let nobody control you. You got to move on. Leave their ass behind. You got this. You can move on. If it didn't work out, it didn't work out for a fucking reason. You are amazing and you're here for a reason don't let nobody make you feel like you're less than them like you aren't worthy of being here don't let nobody try to talk down on you tell you you're something that you're not you gotta have self-respect you gotta have boundaries and when somebody crosses that boundary you make it known that they cross that boundary and you cut their ass off and one of the biggest things that I want to say is say somebody did you dirty, say somebody and you was genuine with them and say somebody played in your face, they played with you, they didn't take you serious, they dubbed you. The best revenge is to make sure that they can never do that again. Make sure that you're the one that got away. There is no fulfillment in getting your lick back trust me there's no fulfillment he cheated on you so you're gonna go and f five people what do you gain five new bodies five new soul ties five five more pieces of yourself gone what do you gain
what do you gain? If he cheats on you, you leave his ass. You leave his ass. Who cares? Who cares how many cars he gets you? Okay, okay. Get the cars. <laughs> jk jk but um yeah he cheats on your ass you know who the hell you are you know what you working with you know who you supposed to be and sometimes people will not know who you supposed to be baby you supposed to leave and you supposed to show them they'll find out let god handle that or whoever you believe in your ancestors your higher your higher if you don't even believe anything let karma handle that it's a it's above me. Oh, okay. That's really how you feel? Okay. All right. You got to take it and you take take what that person does. Take that moment. Take that situation. Take that final hurt. Be like, hmm. I'm not delusional over your ass. I actually don't like you as a person. <laughs> I don't even actually like you. Why am I doing this? Why am I putting up with this? What are you doing for me? What are you what are you doing for me? What what can what are you doing for me that I can't do for myself? And that's another thing, guys. Say this person paying all your bills and giving you money and taking care of everything that you need to take care of, but they're treating you terribly, you better find yourself an escape plan. They may be taking care of you, but at the end of the day, guys, you know what's worth it to you. You are an well, I don't know if you're an adult watching this, but you're going to have to make your own decisions. Whether or not you want to put up with something or not. Whether or not that's okay for you. And whether or not you deserve better. So at the end of the day, decide what's working for you and do what's best for you. Use your intuition discernment and judgment when it comes to these situations but at the end of the day we all make choices and choices will lead to whatever future outcome you want so if you see yourself being somewhere ask yourself what is that version of yourself doing and do that i know that's a very vague i can talk about that more in another video but leave their ass behind last year. Leave their ass behind yesterday. Guys, if you like this video, if you want any more advice from me, if you effing with me, please subscribe if you vibe. Like, share, comment, anything. Even if you view this, I'm appreciative of everything. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. This has been your girl, Anna Vita Angel. Bye. I just want you to know